Alright guys, today I got these two products here that I want to check out just arrived in the mail. So recently, Avid Media reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try some of their product. So this company I know back in the days, they were making video capture card and everything like that. Um, haven't heard from them in a while, but they still continue to make uh, video conferencing, capture card, those type of things. And this is uh, two of their product. The FlexiGo which is just a, uh, what do you call, not just a mic arm, as they say. And then there's a Versity Go, this is a USB-C microphone. So thank you to Avian Media for sending this unit out for me to check it out. So I will be planning to use these in my uh, work and home setup, which is over there. I currently have a little mic stand right out that I don't use anymore. I used to put a Yeti mic on it. The microphone here, this is the model AM310G2. There is also a I saw on their website a more pro version of this is a little bit more expensive this one was about 70 bucks i think the other one was about 130 140 something like that it does has a little tiny little tripod on it too so that's cool again user menu here same thing a pretty nice simple packaging product the microphone itself the little mini tripod Right, these are the mounting and accessory. These are pretty well made, pretty big. USB C to USB A, and a little Allen key. Picture again here is the little clamp style. There's a little arm bar that you can lock in place. Look like in multiple place, and you can rotate that too. 360 degree rotation, maximum of 1.5 kilogram, around three something pounds. We got a short little user menu here. This is the model number BA 311L. So here it is, make our aluminum and metal here. The only plastic piece is, I think this clamp piece right here. Looks pretty good, you gotta check that out. So I set it up here, I use this with the short tripod. The tripod has a little rubber at the bottom, so it's kind of loose, but it will stay wherever you put it. It does come with this little thread adapter so that you can screw it in, and then that's what I'm gonna be using on this mount. I guess you can use it for that camera and other equipment too. It's really well built. I'm really impressed by the build quality of this device. So it's been roughly about three weeks now since I received these two products from Avia Media. So from the unboxing experience, what I can tell you is that the microphone arm is really well built. Uh, it's made out of complete metal and it comes with some accessory to be able to route the cable, some velcro, that type of thing. And uh, the arm itself is not the longest arm compared to my cheap Amazon arm that I have. One of these here, as you can see, the flex like this so this one is designed with the spring loaded and it hold in place uh, while the flexi go arm uh, has different uh, uh, joint that you can lock in place and the quick adjustment is really easy to do that with so you can just quickly unlock and lock it in place I do find that at the base where it clamped to the, the desk uh, that little arm is a little bit long I'll show a video of that but what happened is depends on how you uh, mount it to the the desk and how close it is to the wall it could get in the way where it's kind of hard for you to tighten so it really come down to the angle where you will mount that clamp but from the uh, arm perspective there's really nothing i can say that uh, is bad uh, everything is well, good it's a really solid arm uh, it doesn't move around it kind of lock in place of course on the flip side there's no way for you to quickly just move it like the cheap amazon arm that i have it kind of stay in exact place until you kind of unlock it and move it so keep that in mind as you're using this uh, arm. I don't have much to say about that. Let's move on to the microphone, which is the focus of most of this video. So the microphone itself comes with a little short tripod. It's a really well-built tripod. Look at this right here. Very small, as you can see, very short. Uh, but yeah, you can use this tripod to put it on the table. For my setup, because I do have the arm and where my monitors are, uh, I decided to put on the arm uh, to, to, to use that that way. But if you don't have an arm and you want to put it on the table, this is a, a choice you can do that. And you can angle it up, uh, so pointing at your face. All right, this is my current setup to work from home. I have a new monitor setup right there, as you can see. And in the middle, I actually have a camera uh, right there. And that camera is the Armcrest, I think it was RC28. I recently reviewed that. So that camera has a built-in microphone right here. It is a, a cardio microphone and it sounds really good. And you can see the waveform that I'm recording here. It's hard to see, but I'm using Audacity here. And on this side, it's actually that mic at 80%. And that is with that mic at 80%. So in general, that cardio mic is actually good. In terms of setup, this is how I set up the microphone here with the Ave Media microphone. 
So as you can see here, it is mounted and clipped to the corner of the desk down there. This is the arm and uh, I usually have it right here so it's not in my way when I'm sitting down. Generally this is what it will look like uh, as I'm using this. Uh, the microphone is either on the side here with this microphone. I can't really put it in the middle up here because it's going to get in the way of the monitor. So that's how I had it set up here. And then for this one it's right in front of me. Alright so I'm going to do the Audacity recording here. I'm going to set up the mic right now. It's at about 80%. I'm uh, gonna go to the recording device. Let's switch over to the Rockwell RC28. Gonna do a quick recording here. I am, what, two week, two feet, two and a half feet away. So that gives you an idea. I'm gonna pause it right now. Using the AV Media mic. So I am a little bit closer, but let me come really close to the mic, around 80% again. So that's the difference. So hopefully you can hear the difference between the two uh, microphone. From my perspective, it really doesn't matter that much uh, in terms of uh, the sound quality that is going to be picked up, uh, whether it's right here in my face or now looking up. Really, the microphone does a really good job of picking that up. The difference, however, is I'm also using uh, big speakers. So, of course, if I'm putting it on the table, uh, it will be kind of right in front of the speaker and sometimes pick up some sound. In terms of the microphone, it's really easy to set up. You know, you connect it, it's USB C, plug it in driver automatically install and you're ready to go you don't have to do much to it on the microphone themselves there's only one button and that is the mute button that allows you to mute unmute and you know when it's unmute because the light on the microphone is really obnoxiously red and show you that it's online so it will be red so when you mute it using that button uh, the light will go off so therefore the microphone will become uh, blood with no color on it. Point here that I wish that the software that come with it will allow you to change the other color like RGB. You know, some people will be into that, but of course it's not. It's only that red color. Uh, with that given, you can also install the streaming software that uh, you can download from the website. And the streaming software has a variety of options. Uh, this is also applicable if you're using the cameras, uh, the Swift webcam or one of the streaming camera. There's a lot of options there you can change. You can also adjust, let's say another camera you're using. Uh, I'll show you the video here to give you an idea, but uh, that software also in Dell, kind of particularly in a really weird spot, but you have to go to the microphone, select the microphone, and then go to property, so it's not, it's kind of hidden, but in Dell you have a variety of options you can change in terms of this microphone specifically. Alright, so here's the Ave Media Streaming Center. This is the software that allow you to change the microphone. Uh, of course, here is my webcam. Uh, ignore the background, please. Messy. Uh, but let me just turn it off. If we go to edit source here, we can actually change a lot of setting in here. Uh, for this is again not the camera that every media sent, but another camera. You can change uh, resolution, focus, everything here, right? Uh, let's go to the microphone itself, which is down here. Um, this is the versatile microphone. We can hit uh, audio setting, and here you can see these are all the options that you can have with that microphone. You can turn on the uh, echo and noise cancellation. This is the AI noise cancellation. Here you go. Uh, you can adjust things like noise gate if you want to kind of uh, compress the noise and try not to catch up You know clipping taking out the high and the low end you can do that here It's noise suppression you can do have a DSL here. So all those you know S sound uh, You can have effect here uh, and then you can have amplification here if you want to change that You have reverbs here and of course you have a compressor and then also a viewing EQ uh, I left the EQ on default here because I want to reach the neutral sound. And uh, for the noise gate, I also have this off because I'm using this in team. And for team, I do not need the, the noise suppression. I'm using team noise suppression instead. So that's more or less this software. Um, you definitely have a few other options here to uh, do streaming and recording with your software also. So as you can see now uh, from the microphone software, there is a lot to set up. However, just remember, you do not need to use any of those settings. I do wish that this mic has a gain functionality so that you can just turn the gain up without actually going to the software or installing the software because from my perspective, especially using for work, I don't want to install a lot of software on the work computer so uh, it would be nice just to be able to adjust the gain. You can also see from the sample clip uh, that uh, the microphone itself out of the box is not very loud. You can crank it up. Uh, but in general, it depends on how far you are from that microphone. Sometimes people will put it right in their face. From my perspective, it's two or three feet away. So that gives you an idea of how loud that microphone is uh, when you are using it in that way. But of course, you can always crank it up using the software uh, up to 100%. Finally, there is one little other feature that I want to point out. On the microphone itself, in the back, there is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You can plug in earbuds or headphones to kind of monitor your sound live. 
that is also working fine if you are trying to stream or do something like that. As I'm editing this, I want to make a clarification. The headphone port in the back uh, is basically a headphone port like a sound card, right? You can plug it in and you can uh, listen to sound out of it. So unlike the Yeti where the audio uh, monitor is out actively right away, this is actually uh, like a sound card. So it does will pass through your computer before it comes back to you. There's also a volume wheel right there, right next to that microphone. There's also a volume wheel right there, right next to that headphone input. So you can control how loud uh, the, the headphone is. So there's that, but there's not a gain function again uh, to increase the mic volume. So that's something to keep in mind. So guys, that is my review of this AV Media microphone and the microphone arm. I hope you guys find this video useful. Please thumb up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more future content. Thank you.